Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Why do I get a shock when I get out of the car in cold weather? That's due to static electricity. This is not the same electricity for things that you plug into the wall or that use batteries. But to understand it, we first need to talk about atoms. All substances are made up of smaller particles called molecules, represented by these models over here. Molecules in turn are made up of even smaller particles called atoms, represented by the little balls on the models over there. And atoms in turn are made up of even smaller particles. Atoms are made of three main particles. Two of them are located in the center of the atom, protons, which are positively charged, and neutrons, which have no charge. Then, orbiting around the center of the atoms are electrons, which are negatively charged. And electrons are the key to understanding static electricity. When two substances rub together, like a balloon against fabric, electrons move from one substance to another. This causes the object that loses electrons to develop a positive charge, and the object that gained electrons to develop a negative charge. That difference in charge is static electricity. And when the electrons jump from the negative charge to the positive charge, that is the shock you get. The cold temperature helps because the air is drier. Humidity makes it hard to build a static charge. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. You can't see static electricity, but we can see the effects of static charge when it builds up on things. Try this. Pour some puffed rice cereal onto a table. Next, inflate a balloon. Then rub the balloon against a piece of wool cloth, or better yet, your hair. Now move the balloon close to the cereal. Do you see it hopping around? That's because of static electricity. When you rub the balloon on your hair, electrons move from your hair to the balloon, giving it a charge. The cereal reacts to the different charge and hops around. Wait, I understand that the static electricity causes the cereal to move, but how does the cereal move? Yeah, and why is my hair sticking to the balloon? I guess I know what we're talking about next week. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>